What's up guys, it's me Dazzle, today we're back for the episode for Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, in fact, uh, as you might be able to tell, it's been a little while since I've recorded this. If it's not obvious by, uh, this, this, this happened here, it's caught up a little bit. Actually, what you call this Season 2, what you call GX, anyway, it's Season 2, it's Series 1, Season 2, I guess, because GX is the second season. Anyway, let's screw this nonsense to get to Duelin, shall we? Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yugi noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about the uncertain future. Uh, I can't remember the voice I did. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. I can't read any voice at the same time, but it's really strange. And we're in this together no matter what. Good, I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I wish I knew more. Blah, blah, blah. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yugi and Taya came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his future. Yugi welcomed his. Dip, 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 dip. Yugi welcomed the opportunity because Yugi is a naive bastard. Taya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item. Oh, it's been Keith. That's right. When Yugi took down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was not other than Bandit Keith. But there was something different about him. Something or someone was speaking through him. What happened to you? Uh, I'm not gonna do a Bandit Keith voice because it's it's maybe I should do a Bandit. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Uh, he had like a really American voice. Hence the yar. <laughs> That's a pirate. <laughs> I went, I went, he had an American voice. Yar! <laughs> uh, that's all Americans are pirates, did you not know? Um, crap, what does American sound like? I keep going, like, southern? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become my mind-controlled slave. Who are you? And why do you want my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power you... I feel like I'm doing a different voice now. I desire the power your item contains within. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say that I'm one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others. And that I am not unfamiliar with the power of the Millennium Item. I understand more about the hidden mysteries than you ever will. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it. You and even the spirit that inhabits it are unaware. That's why I will add it to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yugi reached out with his mind to try to connect the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You'll have to fight him alone. Did that actually happen? Was it actually Yugi? Alone? But I never fought a duel without you. That's... Wow, that hasn't happened until right now? You can defeat him! Just trust yourself and your deck and you'll find the way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. It's not the same voice. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi, I have seen your future and foretold your fate. And this duel will be your last. It's time to duel. Uh, we're going to use story deck as we have been doing. We're not, nothing changes here. We're just going to keep on keeping on the way we have been. Ain't no need to make any changes. Uh... Rock power. Oh, you predicted me, son. Can I go first anyway? Does that mean you go first or I go first? It means I go second. Single mode, round one round, one round. That's all we need up in here, up in here. You're gonna make me throw a face down up in here, up in here. And he did actually throw a face down. Two of them even. It's so weird. I've been playing a lot of Duel Links, like a lot of Duel Links. I know I said that in past, I've been playing Duel Links, but I've been playing a lot of Duel Links. Seeing the five spaces is like, whoa. He has so many spaces, because in Duel Links, if you don't know, there's only three. Three for each matching trap and uh, monster. Uh, when your opponent activates a spell, oh, that targets exactly one monster. I know we've had some Ah, you targeted. That's right. That's right. So, uh, what can we throw down here? What can we throw down? He left it wide open. I may as well take this opportunity with the Kamuri Dragon. Let's summon that in attack mode. Man, when I... Did you actually just pay 4,000 life points? To negate my Kamori dragon? Alright, man. If you think that's worth it, you do you. You do you. Uh, the very first time I went to a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, I had no idea 
of like how things worked. I did a dragon deck, I had a structure deck that I just brought and I was like, yeah, I'll just go to the go to it with this. And I I threw in some Kamori dragons. Clean all Kamori dragons. 1500 tag pieces. Competitive tournament in like 2007, 2008. And I was using Kamori dragons. <laughs> I had no idea. I did. I didn't, man. I remember having like a pot of greed in my hand. Ah, uh, this is before it was banned. The episode wasn't going against the ban list, and just not using it. Why would I not do that? It's an instant plus one. Why would I? Why would I not use pot of greed? I did. I have no idea what I was doing. It just goes to show everyone's got to start somewhere, and you just use freaking tribute of the doomed to take out. My freaking play. He's not like Kimuri Dragons, this guy. This guy hates Kimuri Dragons. Someone have beef for war instead. Let's see if he likes a beaver in his face instead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna. Battle phase. If he attacks me, I'm so using his magic clads. I'm so keen to use magic clads. I went to main phase too. Not just having a main phase too, either. It's also not a thing you have in Duel Links. Because it's uh, quick duels. Got another. Can I use. Can I. Can I. No, it's only for it to attack. During battle phase. Damn, I wanted to use that. that uh, oh. Uh, let's summon this dude, Griffor? Bandit Keith is just not putting up a fight. He has not summoned a monster this whole duel. What are you doing, man? You gotta have monsters in your deck, Bandit Keith. You gotta learn, man. You gotta run more monsters than magic and traps. You know this, monster? How do you know? How have you not drawn a monster? I don't understand. Well, we're gonna tribute. Am I gonna summon a summon skull? Uh, we're probably gonna win. But if we don't, we still have this, which can take out uh, pretty much probably anything that you can throw out. Well, that was just too simple. We're obviously going to do a wait. Whoa! We're obviously going to do another another duel this this uh, episode. As you get battle, Bandit Keith, Evil Bakora found his way in way to the duel, following the Millennium Puzzle's energy with his Millennium Ring, and then he like puts part of his spirit in the puzzle, and then doesn't do anything about it for like 300 episodes or something. It takes him like. It's not until season four that that, that plot point comes into play. The, the, the spirit was in the puzzle the whole time. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energies I detect are within Yugi's opponent. Bandit Keith is just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this puppet is show is over. For I alone shall possess a millennium puzzle. My ring, server, uh, sever, pardon me, sever the strings that bind this man. Free his mind from the shadow realm. <laughs> Uh, Bakura is my favorite character in the show, if you're not aware. I uh, just wanted to throw that in there. He's all British, and I love it. And the girls love him. He gets all the girls in the movie. It's great stuff. Bakura unseen. Bandit Keith was freed from the mind control, making Bandit Keith's controller wonder what happened. Uh, what? What? Uh, how does he sound like? What happened? No. What happened? Uh, something like that? Eh. What happened? My millennium spell over Keith has been broken! But how? Only the power of a little millennium item can sever the connection so strong. Ah, uh, Where am I? Uh, okay. King of Games, 15 out of 25. Is that like, is that just the... the f it all, bah, 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 bah. Is that like all the duels in this uh, series? Ah! Battle City begins. Alright, let's get into this. Oh my god, Arcana! Yes! I'm so glad I get to do this battle. Yugi was disturbed that there was now an unknown foe attempting to take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. He didn't know enough about the Millennium Puzzle to understand what dangers he would now have to face. That, I thought I read that wrong. Hey Yugi, hey Yugi, how's it going? Not so great, Taya. I need your help. And so does the Spirit of Millennium Puzzle. Is really going that weird date? No, it's not the episode. It can't be the third, because this is a dueling episode. No one's skipped over that episode. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about its past. That reminds me, the spirit that reminded the spirit how little he knows about it. But hanging out with you might help him figure. Oh, it is that episode. Sure, but uh, how am I gonna do that? I need you to fuck him. <laughs> you always have great advice. Just talk to him. The spirit and Taya spent a day together. They went to a Domino Museum, which had just opened the Egyptian exhibit. How convenient is that? They saw an ancient stone carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Kaiba. As they stood in awe of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. Uh, 
My pharaoh, I have been expecting you. Huh? Who are you? I... Pfft, voice change. I am Ishizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I have uncovered many myster mysteries about you and these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Another Millennium item! Like your Millennium Puzzle, this necklace affords me certain powers. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past, a time when evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world using a children's card game. However, there was only one king who possessed magic powerful enough to stop this evil threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you, and now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. I'm so sorry, I just got distracted by Pokemon Go. I recently just got back into it. It's bad! It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I shouldn't have it open, but I do. And there it is. Whew! To rescue mankind from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My Millennium Necklace shows me visions of the future. My Pharaoh, the events of the past will occur once again. And that same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize this threat? I know that your memory has faded, and that you seek many answers. I also know a Duel Monsters tournament is beginning. If you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament that Ishiza was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City Tournament. Joey and Yugi both received invitations to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a locator card. The tournament attracted a group of duelists known as Rare Hunters. These evil duelists were thieves intent on stealing the most rare Duel Monsters card. Didn't they only win? Didn't they only win cards, like, legitimately? How are they thieves? Joey lost his red eyes Black Dragon to a rare hunter named Seeker. He had a name? In, like, in, like, other games and stuff, they always speak to him as Rare Hunter. I don't remember him actually having a name. Is this the first time he's been named? I swear it is. Hoping to win back his card, Joey challenged him to a rematch. Hey, bada bing, you got my red eyes and I want it back, so it's time to duel. <laughs> um, <laughs> I swear, he's, it looks so weird, him having the name Seeker there. Also, his face just looks all out of whack. I have no desire to duel you. I've already relieved you of your rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Hey, bada bing, well that's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win my red eyes. Joey, what's going on? Yugi Moto, he has the item my master desires. And this guy owes me a rematch so I can win back my red eyes. I already told you that you have nothing that's of any use to me, but perhaps your friend will be interested in being my next victim. It would be my pleasure to hunt the duelist kingdom, champion to snare his dark magician, so I challenge Yugi Moto to a duel. Fine, Rare Hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way to win back your card, Joey. If you win this duel, I'll hand my way. I'll hand over my Dark Magician to you. But if you lose, you must return Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon. Of course, I'm gonna use Story Deck, because uh, that is where the fun is had in this game. I just hit my mic like 17 times. Are we gonna go ahead? We're gonna, we're gonna do peace. Damn it! I should have gone paper. I'm gonna go paper. I'm gonna go paper, man. Well, uh, you wanna go second? Oh, he's, he's, oh wait, this is the duel. I've seen so many memes about this duel. About how he can get, uh, he can get Exodia on the first turn. So I gotta play my cards right. We got Bethlehem on the first turn, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna set, we're gonna set this, uh, Beaver Warrior. Excuse me, face down here. Am I gonna end our turn? Don't you do it. Don't you activate, don't you activate like three pots of green. You have, all right. I was like, why do you have a 40 card deck in running Xodia? 20 card deck is the limit in uh, in Duel Links. This is not Duel Links. You have freaking Dark Hole. Oh my god, you're gonna get it, aren't you? Okay, so it's everything light. Holy shit. What? I saw all those draws you did. What did you just do? I want to see all the cards you just used. Upstart Goblin, Dark Hole, Grace for Charity, and he got rid of those things, and Upstart Goblin. That's like, we drew five cards that turn? Oh wait, I actually have the chain destruction. That's awesome. That's one of like my favorite moments from the anime. When he like he fakes him out into like playing the head. Boom! Chain destruction, all your heads are gone. Get freaking wrecked. It's like such a you just got wrecked moment. It's like there needs to be air horn flame. There needs that that needs to be in there. Damn it, that's no good to me. Um I might tribute my uh my Celtic Guardian here to summon Baphomet 
So then I get, uh, I get, uh, what's it, what's it, what is it, uh, the King of Mystical Beast? Is that the one? No, 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 Yeah, King of Mystical, Gazelle, King of Mystical Beast, that's it. Uh, and we can actually do the polymerization. How about that? May as well do it. So we've got something strong, I, I could have just tributed it and, and, uh, summon, summon Skull, but hey, here we are. This way, if he, if he takes out this thing, I get one of them back, right? I think that's how it works. It's been a long time. This truck is always treated as a Phantom Beast card. What's a Phantom Beast card? Uh, yeah, I get one of the back. I get special one if he takes it out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and end our turn because we still got swords. So I can't attack for one more turn. But what can we do about it? I don't think he's having a good time over there. I don't think he's getting what he wants at all. Uh, let's summon this. Let's see if we can bait him with uh, 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 something. <laughs> And if he doesn't take it out, let's go ahead and summon summon skull, and that'll be like half his life point, so we can attack directly twice. Don't you have another? Don't a sword is gonna like play another sword. That basically is what I thought was gonna happen. Another swords. We got brain control, but there's not much we can do with it. Actually, we can take it. Can it take a? Wow, it does have to be face up. This is annoying because there's nothing I can do. I just have to sit here while um while the swords takes me out. Don't mind me playing my phone. Uh, um, oh wow, um, another one. Great. Another one. Another one. Meh, meh, meh. 24 cards. Oh, better make that 21 cards. Yeah, that's the red eyes. He just threw it away just to spite me. What a dick. He's got two face downs. Swords are still going. Hey, there's a nice defense. Could use that before. Okay, let's go. Let's giggity. Okay, swords gone. Can we, don't you play another one? Don't you play another swords? I swear to God. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad. I keep looking at my phone. It's bad. I'm really distracted. Uh, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I'm gonna. Ooh, wait. I can bring it. Wait. Pay 800 life points and take one. F oh, it says face up. It literally says face up, and I said it doesn't say face up. I'm a dum dum. Let's go ahead and tribute Silver Fang. Garbage card for a summon skull. What else do we have in the fusion deck here? We got Chimera, King of Mythical Beasts. And that's it. Why do you have three of them? Why is it necessary? Alright, so we're gonna attack. Let's go this one. Oh, bad choices, man. Let's go this one. Okay, you can take that out. All right, I wonder what the middle card is now. I might attack because he had that one first. That's the first card he played, the middle one. So it's probably the weakest one by, you know, if I'm just, if I'm just using logic here. Dun, 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 dun. He has right geeky. Wait. He has some OP freaking cards. What, is, what, is, what does he get to do here? He used to bring one of them to his hand. Okay, so we still got... Oh no, he did it, didn't he? Oh no, he just wanted that as well. Oh, I get its effect. I thought it was only if it was, uh, if it was, uh, just a battle. I guess I'll get Gazelle back. At least now I can bring control that thing in defense mode and then tribute it. What you got? Oh no. I saw it coming, man. I saw it coming! That's dumb. Freaking Exodia decks. It's dumb when there's no ban list and you just got freaking Graceful Charities, Pots of Greed, Reckless Greeds, uh, Pots of Duality, all that ridiculous stuff. Well, we'll attempt this again in the next episode. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, of course, make sure you like that more. Let me know what you thought. If you're new here, subscribe and check out, check out the bell button. Press it, maybe? <laughs> uh, until the next episode! Bye! <laughs>